I was surprised to see many cars. Um, that's his home. That's his surname. And people were crying. It was revealed that Charlotte has passed away. Sadly, she was pregnant. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ndivu Tea and uh, Pastor Bay. Unfortunately, today I am not with Pastor Bay. I am by myself because there's something that I want to tell you. Okay, I'm just kidding. I can never come by myself. No. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I've got the angels. I've got the Holy Spirit. I don't know if the devil is here. Just joking. Well, I am with someone very special, close to my heart. Uh, someone that I've spoken about quite a lot. I've said a lot of bad things. I've said a lot of good things about him. And I've seen a lot of your comments on Madam Speaker's video, latest one at the time of this recording. And yeah, most of them, is in Ndivu's son? Oh my God, his story is similar to Ndivu's story. Oh, I think it is. Uh, I see you guys. I saw the comments. I um, think I just didn't have the energy to comment at that time. But here we are. Um, Mrs. Producer, you can switch to him. Then they can see him. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's him. Um, so, yeah, this is him, the one that I've been speaking about for the past four years, my son, Undamu. Um, I've always said that I've got four boys, and one was missing because you guys have always seen me with three. Um, one was still busy in the world. One was still busy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. But um, he's been home. I think the last video that we did with Pastor Bay was last year. And I think Pastor Bay had thrown in the towel. I think he was saying that uh, we tried our best and we're just done. We're not going back there again. We're not doing it again. And I'm sure you guys were like, yeah, no shame. You guys did your best. He's not coming back. But here he is. Um, I think that will be a story for another day. Uh, but I just wanted to confirm to you guys that, yeah, it is him that you saw on Madam Speaker's video. Um, if you have not watched it, please go watch it. Um, you will see by the thumbnail. Um, he was wearing a yellow hat. Um, yeah, his story is quite a story. But anyway, Ndamu, how are you? I'm good, and you? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm good. Um, uh, okay, so I'm not going to do the whole background thing. I don't think I'm in the mood. I just woke up. It's half past eight at the moment. But there's a comment that I saw yesterday that broke my heart on Madam Speaker's video. Yeah. And I'm hoping you have not seen it because uh, it, it hurt me and it. I wanted to be the first one to read it to you. Yeah. Ne? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can okay. release the files. Okay, maybe let me start by asking. Do you know a person called Stephen Mukami? I know uh -uh. people probably use fake names on Facebook and stuff, on social media. So you yeah. don't know the person, right? Okay. Uh -uh. So this is the person that stays around your area. Yeah. So this person, it's not a bad message. It's not yeah. a bad message. Yeah. You understand why I said it It broke my heart because I was not away. Yeah. So this person said, this is under Madam Speaker's um, video. I remember it like it happened yesterday. It happened in my village, Njerere, Harabari. Charlotte, that's my sister, Damus mother, was such a bubbly person and very beautiful. Yeah. Now you see why I'm so beautiful. You see why he's so handsome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when going to school in the morning, I was in primary. I was surprised to see many cars. Um, that's his home. That's his surname. And people were crying. It was revealed that Charlotte has passed away. Sadly, she was pregnant. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's bad stuff. Eh? Yeah, that was a shocker to me. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, you wouldn't, uh, like, tell or, like, this person is pregnant or not by the time. Ne? Yeah, no, I don't. I think I was, okay, I knew what pregnancy was back then. Yeah. But I don't remember seeing her pregnant. I don't remember a baby bump. But obviously, because I was younger, things were not discussed with me. Yeah. But did you know that she was pregnant no i didn't like i don't recall or remember her pregnant by that time jo sure. but it's it's very bad eh? yeah like 
imagine if like maybe i had a brother so or like maybe i had a sister so maybe things would have turned out maybe in a different way so like it's really bad you know like her dying like with with someone inside of her like that's that's bad yeah like it really breaks, breaks my heart to know that like um she was pregnant when she she actually passed away you know and i wonder like how could someone do that how could someone do that man yeah. so it's actually bad eh? yeah i yeah when i saw the comment i was you know that day when you when we were here i i was able to just do my job i was the one that was controlling the stuff behind the whatever i was prepared mentally but when i went there to the comment section and i saw this comment i was like oh my god Gosh. I, I i didn't even know how to feel about it i read it to shudu last night and he was just like has namu seen this really it really touches me like like i'm i'm just out of words you know i don't even know how to comment this i don't even know what to say to this you know like it's it's very bad eh? yeah no, breaks it's... my heart into a thousand glasses on the floor you know it's something which can never be replaced ish. yeah it's it's sad it's it's cruel yeah uh, i mean besides the the pregnancy but just a person killing another human being somebody's mother somebody's sister somebody's daughter it's just cruel on its own but that's our reality Ish. and it's just it's very bad you know yeah it's just sad that yeah Ish. i guess we had to find out like that here's the issue thank you Ish. it's very bad Ish. don't even know how to Ish. maybe even like the situation of like me using drugs and stuff like i wouldn't have i wouldn't have used like if i had someone like on my support structure maybe like if that person was going to be my brother or sister you know yeah maybe you would have wanted to be better for that person yeah maybe like if it was just the two of us or like we were going like to just support each other so in order like for me to like to just use drugs so like we would have been there for one another you know but it's quite sad to know that like she died while she was carrying you see i never saw that that comment like if i saw it like it was just going to like break me into pieces you know yeah at the moment gonna... it's one of the latest ones it was commented yesterday yeah it's like it's, it's really bad i don't even know what to say like i don't know what to say you know yeah it's 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 heartbreaking um i can only imagine your pain because that was your mom as much yeah. as she was my sister that would have been your sibling um yeah yeah but i guess we have each other now yeah and only god knows why it had to happen that way there are many yeah. things that don't make sense to us but things happen for a reason and there are some things that will never make sense we'll never know why they had to happen that way yeah but it's life yeah it's life like you can never reverse like what happened you know just got to accept and let god do the healing it's a healing process you can never heal alone but you'd rather just pray to god to help you you know but like i'm grateful that i got to reunite with you guys again cuz you the support structure like which god has sent out for me like i'm really grateful for that day but to just hear something like that like i don't even know what to say where to start how to reveal myself you know like it's something which is very bad it's just it bad is. it's yeah it's bad imagine like if if, if grandma was still around and she was reading something like that yeah. you know it's something which like could have also affected her like in a million ways you know like it's, it's bad all i can say is that it's bad yeah yeah it's bad people should just stop killing people 
if you don't want a person, let them go. Yeah. There's, there's no need. There's no need to end somebody's life. And killing somebody doesn't end in you killing that person. You kill also the ones that are left behind. My sister's death, when my sister was killed, a part of me was killed, Damo's huge part was killed. His whole life was impacted by that death. My mother's life was impacted by that death. She never got to even embrace her own grandchild. I think after my mother's death, after my sister's death, she only got to see you, I think, once. Yeah, it was only once. Then I then saw they, her when it was time for the funeral. That's yeah, when that I, was my mother's funeral. And yeah. that that's where I also got to meet him. And it was, yeah. It was a long time ago. I remember even when you came, you were like very excited. Or, hey, Mona, is this is this the guy really? Yeah. Like we've been wanting to see him. Maybe like my brother, so lucky. I I didn't know him. Never ever knew that guy. I only knew him when I was going to meet grandma by a place. That's when she introduced me to like even like I saw him once. Yeah. The second time was when it was the funeral. That's why I go to reunite with him again. After that, we exchanged numbers. I took down your number on a piece of paper. So I would call you some other time just yeah, to check. Yeah, I remember you would so, call me. Yeah. And like, that's when they allowed me to come visit you guys uh, in Pretoria. They, yeah. But I, growing up, like, I never really knew you guys. Like, I wanted to, like, have that bond with you guys. But it was just taken away, you know. Like, I was just kept in a place where... They wouldn't allow me to associate with you guys. I just don't know why it's on their side of story. They just don't know why. But I used to want to have a bond with you guys. And like whenever I would like want to go to my granny's house, they used to refuse. I don't know why. Yeah. I'll tell you why on the on the next video. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what really went on, what happened. Uh, because I do have an idea, as young as I was, um, even though nobody would really sit me down and explain, but I would hear conversations. I would eavesdrop. I would hear what was being said. But I do have an idea. And we will discuss it on the next video. But anyway, um, we're going to end this one here. I don't think it's necessary to elongate it. But you will be seeing more of Undamu. He's been saying, hey, yeah, I want to be on YouTube. I want to be on YouTube. I just didn't want. Um, I had my own personal reasons. But here he is. <laughs> and um, you guys might, might have just missed him. He's been on the channel before, even in May. Um, I think May or somewhere there. I did uh, post a video with him, but I didn't say who he was. Uh, it was me and Uzi and Clay Lucky. It was the whole, it was, everybody was there. It was the day that we went to Papachino's. Yeah, the whole family was yeah, there. Yeah, the whole family was there. It's there. The channel, the, I was I think I was mocking Uzi and Clay that she was being a kid in the restaurant, whatever. If you go there, May, somewhere May there, you will see it. Um, I will still post a video wherein we were welcoming him back. I'll post it when I'm ready. But yeah, for now, this is him. And you will be seeing more of him. He is also planning on starting his own channel. I uh, don't know when, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been yeah. saying that he wants to start. So whenever he does start a channel, uh, you guys will be the first one to uh, to know about it. And I know you, Basundi, will go subscribe and show him some love. And I did see your comments on Madam Speaker's video, and we do appreciate your love and support. And yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Basundi. Thank you for the love and appreciation and the comfort words that you were saying out there. So, yeah, thank you very much. Peace.